Hi guys, my name is Lisa Kusima. Welcome to my channel. I really hope you have subscribed um, to the channel because you know, you're getting a lot of value, so it will help me out. Yeah, so we're talking about overcoming self-doubt. Yes, I too have gone through it and I thought if it's affecting my purpose, if it affects my purpose, then I need to talk about it because so many people are struggling. And I just want to let you know that when you're feeling like you're not good enough, so many other people are feeling the same. So let me just take you down memory lane, yeah? A bit of story time. So if you've been following me for a while now, you'll know that I started, you know, way back, I think, three years ago, yeah, and I used to do videos alone, you know, I just um, found purpose, and I used to do my sit-down videos solo, and I really loved them, I believed in myself so much, you know, and then a time came, and I felt like, you know, I cannot build stronger families alone, so I need to bring on other voices, you know, who have gone before me, or who just know, have no, more knowledge um, surrounding different topics and you know so i would have at least one guest every month for those that follow that have been following you know i would have like one guest every other month etc and you know things were going okay and then before i knew it people really loved the guests and i also loved them too so i'm like you know let me have more guests so before i knew it two more guests were coming onto the channel and then until recently <laughs> i've had like <laughs> videos where uh, the whole month I have guest on guest on guest and they are bringing so much wisdom, so much knowledge, you know. And then sometimes we'd be brainstorming with my assistant, um, okay, video ideas for next month. And then I want to talk about certain things, but then I feel like, am I going to be as good enough? Because I've brought all these amazing people that have spoken so well that people have loved. What if I do my video and I don't even love it or the people do not love it? So I began to feel... Mm, unworthy, unworthy of the space that I've actually been put here um, by God. So that's how the self-doubt started. And I remember um, every time we'd have those ideas of different videos, two weeks in or one week to shoot day, I would jump out and be like, no, 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 let me just talk to someone better. Yeah, I have this person, let them come onto the channel. So before I knew it, I didn't have any videos um, of my own. And I felt like my voice was kind of going away as if that's even possible and as I went through this journey I realized that it's part of growth God was calling me to have other voices here to bless you guys that are actually watching these videos and also if you've been following on Instagram I hope you have you'll see that I've been growing I've been growing and as the followers increase I remember when I just hit 50k I was like wow 50,000 people um, are following me? Am I leading them in the right direction? Am I doing, um, being that example? Or am I saying the right things? Do you, you, you feel me? Yeah. So as growth happens, you begin to feel you're not worthy to fill this space. And that's what I've been wrestling with. I was wrestling with it. Yeah. And so I'm going to share a few tips that have helped me and this self-doubt journey is continuous, yeah? So many times you'll feel imposter syndrome, you'll feel um, that you're not good enough, and it happens in any space, in your workspace, even as a mom, as in any position, you'll always feel self-doubt. And sometimes, I like to say, sometimes it's good, especially if you're an overachiever, uh, because that means it gets you an opportunity to over prepare so that's my first point yeah when you're doubting yourself just over prepare prepare in hand so every time i'm coming to do these videos do i sleep do i sleep i want to make sure i'm doing research am i saying what's accurate you know what's authentic to me just thinking through and allowing my voice as authentically as it can be to be hard so i think that's the first point if you're going through self-doubt maybe you have a training to deliver maybe you're going to speak to people maybe you're going to write a proposal over prepare over prepare because you know the the better you prepare then the better um, your output will be so that's the first thing that helped me and continues to help me research put in the work and you'll find that yeah 
you'll be good enough because self-doubt comes from a place of do I have the expertise, you know, to talk about this subject matter. So if you actually get it, then you will overcome the self-doubt. The second thing um, that I did and I pat myself on the back, I'm like, yes, that means you're walking the right journey. Um, when I was feeling like this, I quickly ran to the word of God. Um, I, I got a Bible. If you know the Bible, the Version Bible app, everyone needs that app. Yeah. It's, it has so many plans on so many subject matters. So when I was feeling like that, I got a plan that was talking about self-doubt and I was reading the story of Moses. Now, if you've read the story of Moses, you will know that God called him to lead the people out of Israel. And when God called him, he was like, but who am I, Lord? I cannot do this. I cannot do that. You know, I can't speak well enough and things like that. Excuse after excuse, you know, because he didn't feel good enough. And I was so amazed by God's response. When he said he was not good enough, God did not say, you can't do it. You know, you have all these skills, one, two, three, you know. All God told him is, I will be with you. And it was such a light bulb moment for me because I realized, wait a minute, who called you to do this stuff? Was it yourself? No, it was God. So if God calls you, then he'll give you everything you need um, to achieve. So yeah, he reminded me that Lisa, I am with you. I am with you. And what you say you know, I keep telling God, like, give me the words that I need to say. So it's it's him working and we need to be aware of that. So if God has called you in that field that you're in, wherever you are, the position you're in, God has called you, remember that he will be with you and that should be enough. Yeah, God is with you. That should be enough. So for me, running to the word of God is something that helped me because it reminds you of your identity in him. Your identity is in him and not what you can do and things like that. Because we have seen all these stories in the word of God that he really calls the unqualified. Yeah. Look at Jesus, the people he called to follow him. Fishermen, random guys, tax collectors, they were not really qualified. They're not the people that people would choose and say, this is the one who is worthy to work with Jesus. But he still called them nonetheless. And right now, they are the rock. Peter is the rock yeah, of the church and things like that. So just remember that God has called you, so he has equipped you with everything that you need. So that will be, yeah, my second point on how you can actually overcome self-doubt. The next thing that helped me is focusing on the things you can do better. I remember after the last month's shoot, <laughs> I was feeling like every video had not come out well. The day just had not come out well because I felt like mm -mm, it was not good enough. Yeah. So I was actually in the shower and you know, those promptings, the Holy Spirit can see that you're frustrated, you're not in yourself. And he just brought a word. He's like, but what exactly didn't go well? What is making you feel like the videos didn't come out well, you know? So I just went into reflection and what is it exactly? So focusing on what didn't go well and then how do you change that? Because that helped me. I realized, okay, maybe I did not prepare enough for the videos or this and that. So that helped me do better in the next month. So if you focus on what exactly are you doing and also reminding yourself of purpose. Purpose for me is what keeps me going. Were people impacted? When you see the videos, I mean the comments you guys are, are writing down there, I'm just encouraged, yeah? It just encourages you that those little things that you're focusing on, oh my God, it didn't go well. It's you, it's you, you're the issue, you get, you're over-criticizing yourself. And Steve always tells me that I'm my biggest critic. And that's so true with all of us. You are your biggest critic. You're looking at things that no one would even ever see. So focus on what has not gone well and how do you actually improve it. But also going back to purpose. And I know sometimes when we're focusing on other things, what are people going to say? How come this person is doing better than me? Oh my God, they had a better video or they had a better presentation or they have better ETC. Those are the things that are going to make you feel unworthy. So if you just focus on what exactly are you doing? I'm building strong families, whether who and who is doing what for you, that is your path and you should focus on that. Yeah. And then see where you need to improve because there's already a journey of improvement. So when I got into that point of reflection, I realized, let me identify where I've been slacking and then let me pull up my socks. So in the next month, I was more prepared. Um, I'm feeling more confident than I was last time. And yeah, so that's what it is about. So even on my Instagram, when I'm feeling like, oh my God, um, the, the algorithm is not working in your favor. Was my video good enough just because only 
2,000 people saw it or only 5,000 people saw it. Do you know what it means for 5,000 people to see your video? If you put 5,000 people in the room, they will not even fit in here. Those are so many people. So if you focus on the good that you're doing, the purpose for which you are doing it, then let me tell you, you will feel confident, you will feel good enough. So please focus on what you're doing. What exactly is the purpose? Are you doing it right? God is with you. Yeah. Then you move. Yeah. So that's what really helped me. Light bulb moment with Lisa. Did you know that spending money on others promotes more happiness than spending money on yourself? Wives, can you start spending on your husbands? You're so stingy. Oh my money, my money. Spend! The other thing that helped me is surrounding myself with people who cheer you on. People who cheer me on have really been a source of encouragement, you know? Um, I was talking to a friend of mine who kind of mentors me, you know, she had come home to visit and I was telling her, you know, all this and that and how I was feeling. And she just reminded me, Lisa, you are doing amazing. Do you know the impact? Can you imagine someone, you know, saw that I was your friend and told me, oh my God, that chick is doing so amazing. She has changed my life. She has done this. So if you have those people around you who are going to just encourage you and lift you up and show you the good things you're doing. It's going to really uplift you and encourage you on this journey. You get to be more confident. Um, you know, the people that you surround yourself with, is it your mentors, is it your friends, and even your subscribers, even your followers. You know, sometimes as content creators, we only focus on maybe the negative comments. Oh my God, this person said I didn't speak well or I didn't do this you know, well. And then you forget all the people that are saying you're doing amazing. So surround yourself with those people that are going to pour into you, but also just look back, look back, go down memory lane, yeah? I, the other day, uh, okay, by the time this video comes out, it's not the other day, but anyway, recently I was going through something. I Someone had said something that just broke me, broke me about my journey, and God told me, just look back look where you've come from because so many times we forget we forget where we have come from and how far we have come so i was just going through my videos and seeing how far i had come i saw my first post on instagram and it was about purpose and i saw oh my god the growth has been immense and growth only comes when you're doing good things growth only comes when you're giving value so it just reminded me and i was more confident i was like you know what like steve says um, a lion is not moved by the opinion of sheep, yeah? <laughs> it's Steve's favorite quote. So you're not moved by opinions that do not, they just don't matter, yeah? If the people around you are encouraging you, are giving you positive criticism because you know you can accept positive criticism because you know they want what's best for you. Not all kind of criticism is good because some just want to put you down, put you down. But the people who you know are surrounding you and want, and want what's best for you, those are the ones you need to listen to. So yeah, go down memory lane and uh, surround yourself with people. Surround yourself with people. Iron sharpens iron. So just making sure that the people also who are walking your space, who are allowing to pour into you are doing good so that you sharpen one another yeah so for me sitting down with that friend of mine and just going down memory lane and listening to the feedback that i'm you know having with you guys i even screenshot it you guys know i screenshot some of that feedback and just keep it in my phone so that on days when i'm feeling like lisa you're not good enough that video was not nice ah this and that criticizing myself i check and i read and say and i and i hear that you don't know what you've done for my marriage. Oh my God, you supported me on my um, labor, my labor. You know, I've helped so many people when they see my labor story and they walk the journey, the verses I've shared on labor. People have actually um, gotten short labors and they say because they, they memorized and recited the verses I shared on my Instagram. That means a lot. Imagine you're doing a lot. So let's not forget the good that you've done. It's out there. So just remember it. It will kind of make you grateful and make you know that, yeah, if I could do it then, then I can do it even now. So yeah, that's the next thing that helped me overcome my self-doubt. And then the other thing that helped me is just do it again. Do it again. You know, lots of times self-doubt um, will bring in fear that you might fail. Uh, so you end up not doing the things that you want to do. So imagine I felt like um, the videos I was doing were not as good. You know, in fact, I had a video that I had done. I think you guys watched it. Um, 
dating green flags. So I had shot that video months before, but because like I mentioned, I had these amazing guests that were giving so much value. I felt like mm, my video will not be nice. So I didn't even post it. So I kept postponing, postponing until, until, you know, it hit me like, no, it's a good video. Just post it. Okay. If it's not good, it's okay. You post it. Let's see what people say. And let me tell you, I posted it and you guys enjoyed the green flags video. You guys were like, you've saved me. Oh my God, those green flags. I'm going through this relationship and he didn't have these green flags, you know, and it's making, it's helping you make decisions about your futures, which is going to really help you. So I actually posted the video. So just do it. When you do it, it comes back full circle. You end up learning what you could have done better. You end up uh, seeing that you, it was all in your head. It was all in your head. And so many times, like I mentioned, when you compare yourself with others, you feel like this person knows more than I do. And I really learned that everything someone knows, they have learned. Everything someone knows, they learned from somewhere. So that means I can also do it. So if you're looking at others, look at them as inspiration and not competition or comparison in a negative way. Look at them and be inspired. Okay, how did they do it? Then go and also learn how they did it. Yeah, so yeah, those are some of the things that have helped me and also ensuring that rejection does not define you. Um, you know, when you're going through, like if you're a content creator, you'll know, or if in spaces, in workspaces, you've gotten so many no's, not so? And sometimes when you get a no, you feel like it's a no to you. And that's where the issue is. Someone is not rejecting you as a person. Maybe it's not the right time for that idea. Maybe it's something is just not working, but sometimes we take rejection and it defines who we are. So you end up feeling like, no, Lisa is not good enough. Sandra is not good enough because your boss has said that was a rubbish proposal or a rubbish report. You know, he's just saying the report in itself is rubbish. Not you that you are rubbish. You get. So I think detaching yourself from rejection and failure and just seeing that it's not about you. What is this person trying to say? Yeah. And does it align to what God says about me? You get, yeah. So it always has to come back. Does it align to what God says about me? Um, because your worth is not in the things that you do. Your worth is in who God says you are. Yeah. So we should carry that on. Uh, believe in yourself. Try it. Uh, don't let rejection define you. Surround yourself with people who are going to just build you up, you know, and things like that. So those are some of the tips that have really helped me on my journey um, overcoming self-doubt. So I just want to hear from you in the comment section. Have you gone through this? Have you gone through a season of imposter syndrome or feeling like you're not good enough? And what are some of the things that have helped you? Yeah. Let me know in the comment section. Also, as I conclude, I just thought I'd let you know that shoot day is here and it's happening at Best Western Plus the Athena Hotel. It's an amazing space. If you want to come and, you know, build your intimacy with your husband, you know, with your wife, this is the place you need to come to. I love that it's in the middle of town in Bugolobi. So you don't have to go so far to get that. Mm. To get that going yeah so please check them out on best western plus the athena hotel on instagram or on their website and book your stay don't forget if you come and stay here you can get a discount on your bill by using my code lisa at the athena hotel all right my name is lisa kusima i hope you found value because i'm always here to inspire